Hey everybody, uh, Jeremy here. It's uh, Wednesday afternoon. It's actually really nice out today, um, but you know, I'm, I'm indoors. I'm going to be creating art uh, instead of going out and enjoying this nature. That's the way it goes in my house. Um, so uh, welcome uh, to my channel. Uh, like um, it is Wednesday afternoon uh, and uh, we're going to create some art. So what kind of art are we going to create today? So I've got a lot of viewers of my channel who are uh, forest fan treasure hunt enthusiasts. Um, they, like me, uh, we all participated in looking for that uh, million dollar treasure hunt or uh, treasure chest that was out in the Rocky Mountains and uh, kind of built it like a little bit of community. So when I started this channel, a lot of them came over and started watching, um, you know, me draw my art. Um, which is really cool. So I thought as a uh, kind of like um, an appreciation, like a token of appreciation to kind of get back to the community, uh, I thought I might try to do like an interpretation of the artwork that inspired Forest Fun's chest. So I've got, I've got that here. So this is um, the original um, artwork that probably went into creating the uh, Forest Fin treasure chest. Now, Forest Fin's treasure chest was this bronze chest and uh, filled with like gold and jewels and and things like that. It was it was a super fun treasure hunt. But um, the origins of the bronze chest probably go back even further to, um, than the modern day. So, like uh, most people think that uh, it it was probably created in the 19th century, inspired by Renaissance art um, and the motif of the uh the chest probably was inspired by this artwork or at least it's close enough that even if this isn't the original inspiration for the force fence chest i feel like if we create art based on this it'll kind of like tie it all together and, and make things uh force finny uh at, at least that's what i'm going for so i'm going to try to create some art inspired by this uh this renaissance art here now i'm not really going for this style uh, I thought that um, really just all I want to do is create a landscape that has a castle on it. But I feel like if I copy some of the elements from here into my own artwork, it'll it'll help sell the idea that um, the two are related. So when looking at this, um, it's kind of an architectural piece. Uh, there's uh, some notable features here where it is a castle. You have these two cylindrical turrets on the uh, front of it. Um, at the very top, you have kind of like a more ornate, maybe a church or um, the keep of the castle. Uh, and then, of course, you've got a number of figures in here, uh, some of them storming the castle, uh, and then some of them up there, like protecting the castle, or, or I, I guess protecting the castle. It looks like they have some stones in their hands, like they're tossing stones down on people. It's really hard to tell whether or not these are male or female figures, like with a lot of Renaissance art, um, they're kind of androgynous, but I, I feel like I'll, I'll get to that, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Right now, I just wanna kind of start putting in some architectural pieces that are inspired by this castle. So without further ado, uh, got my paper here, I'm gonna get started. So again, this is loosely inspired by that original Renaissance art, but I'm gonna take some, some artistic uh, liberties. Like I've got the paper gridded out into like um, thirds, right? So I think in, in these two thirds, I kind of want to have the castle. Um, in this lower two thirds, I kind of want to have a bit of a foreground. Um, but then on this side here, I kind of want to have maybe some other landscape. <laughs> yeah, enthusiasts, forest fan enthusiasts. Um, yeah, I mean, pretty much nut jobs. I mean, the the whole thing about the forest fan treasure hunt is that people kind of like got a little obsessed with it a little bit. But hey, you know, it's gold fever. You know, when somebody puts a million dollars worth of gold out in the Rocky Mountains, you get a little nuts. So I have no problem calling you guys nut jobs. I'm one of them too. Um, I mean, I'm drawing a picture here inspired by the treasure hunt. Um, so yeah, I think, I think I'm a bit of a nut job, but that's okay. So again, I kind of want the castle to be in this area. So I've got a ruler here just so I can draw some straight lines. It's probably going to diverge from that. I just want to get an idea of the sense of space here and decide where I want everything. So I think this is kind of a conceptual piece, by the way. Hey, how's it going, Richard? 
Um, this is kind of a conceptual piece. I don't anticipate finishing it today. In fact, I know I'm not going to. I'm, I may come back and finish it on, on Friday. But today I just kind of want to draw in where I want everything. And then I'm thinking I'll probably ink this in at some point. And um, uh, maybe add some color to it. I don't know if I want to do colored pencils or watercolor. Uh, I'll decide later. I feel like that's Friday Jeremy's problem. Right now, I just kind of want to get things going. So I don't, I don't think I'm happy with that. Oh, and I think, I think this castle is going to be perched upon a rock. I think that's going to be kind of cool. I want my turrets to be a little bit wider, so I'm going to erase that line. I think I'm going to continue talking as I go through this about like decisions I make. Um, let me try from this side. I think that'll be cool. Yeah, I think that'll make a nice, nice wider turret. You guys can barely see these lines, but I think that uh, I think this is going to work out. So again, I just want to kind of capture some of the prominent features, and then I can say that it's inspired by Forsman's, um treasure chest. So I think, I think the perspective of the viewer is going to be kind of like eye level with the castle itself, which means the perspective, I, I don't want just the front of the castle. Oh yeah, I've been collecting quite a bit. I, I'm, I'm wondering if I'm gonna run out of space before the year's over. I've been kind of like drawing like a madman lately. Um, like, I, I really had no idea that I was going to be, like, when I started this whole project where I'm like, oh, I'm just going to try to be a little more creative. It's become an addiction. I enjoy drawing pictures. When I'm not drawing pictures, I'm thinking about drawing pictures, and I'm like, well, what am I going to work on, work on next? Um, but it's it's been fun. I, I really enjoyed it. So I think I think for the walls, because I do want it to be walls. I don't want it to just kind of be the front of it. I'm going to use these two points, I think, to draw an angle. So this side's gonna be going off into off page. Oh, I guess I should clean my ruler. This is a, this is like a line gauge, by the way. It's used in like printing. Uh, I think I swiped it from graphic arts class way back in high school and I've just kept it ever since. So I think if you're looking that way, yeah, so it's kind of a sharp angle, but I want it to match the other side. You know, make everything nice and perfectly. Obviously, the castle's not going to go that far off into the distance, but let's draw it anyway. So where would I want this to stop? So I kind of want... Go ahead and draw this one in. This is a lot more architectural than like maybe what I'm used to drawing, but that's okay. You know, like, is it, how am I supposed to draw? I wouldn't know what corner. I guess I'm going to have to guess on this side. on the angle. So I do have that. I'm just going to freehand this. Doesn't matter. Nobody's grading me. All right. So I think, I think this would be a wall that kind of goes off page. What number chest will this be? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, in the forest wind community, there's some debate about how many chests there were out there. Um, as I said, this um, forest fence chest was probably inspired by this. Uh, uh, it's probably a 19th century chest. Um, there's some debate about that too, so I don't want to like say conclusively, but uh, it's probably inspired uh, or probably a 19th century chest inspired by this Renaissance art which was created in the 19th century of an original piece 
that is actually in some museum. I, I forget the name of the museum, but anyway, this this uh, Renaissance art was probably made in 1280 to 1340. That's what I have in my notes. Um, so anyway, uh, his chest was probably uh, created at the same time other chests were created, like, you know, capitalism. And uh, there's at least one other chest that looks very much like his um, at the Detroit Institute of Arts. And, and if there's two chests, there's probably more. And a lot of people think that maybe there were more chests out there hidden. I don't know if that's just wishful thinking or if that's actually solid or not, but the chest I was looking for was found and that's disappointing because it's gone. Um, but it was a lot of fun looking for it. So this is really sharp angles, but that's okay. I like that kind of perspective. And then I don't know what I'm going to throw in the background back here. But my idea is that this castle will be sitting up on some rocks. Like there would be, you know, like a trail or something that comes out this way. Kind of draw some lines in for that. I don't know. This is going to be kind of like a road, so it doesn't really matter so much. This is a very forced perspective kind of drawing now that I realize it. But that's okay. I mean, I'm just kind of letting it guide me again i don't plan on finishing this today so if i don't like something i can always come back and change it off camera or something like that so you got a road leading into the castle um the top of the castle is going to be or the top of these turrets is going to be round i don't think i need actually this line to be that high up I'm going to change the angle of that actually. I don't mind cheating and using a ruler on this because it is an architectural piece and you kind of, you know, it's different when you're drawing like a face or something because you can have some um, some imperfections because we are we are imperfect pe people, but when drawing a building, you know any imperfections <laughs> cause it to fall down. All right, so I think this will be the top of I don't know what they're called. Um, I want to say parapet, the top of a castle. The little toothy parts. It's definitely got toothy parts to it. And I'm just going to kind of freehand in those toothy parts. Because, again, I think I'm going to come back and ink this later. So it doesn't have to be perfect right now. I can worry about it later so over here the kind of perspective wise kind of dwindled down like that so you would have it's going to be challenging i think uh having people climbing the walls yeah printers use the, yeah line gauges I, I think they're called um printers use these type of rulers they have uh it has inches on it. It has agate. I, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it also has like points and stuff. I mostly, I mostly don't measure with it. I just, I just like that it's metal and I use it as like a straight edge. Anyway, I've had it forever. Um, I think, I think I swiped it from my high school graphic arts class, <laughs> which I probably shouldn't admit. Cause like, I think that school's still around. It might come for me, but that's okay. Now, these turrets actually have 
teeth as well. And then there's people standing on top of them. It's going to kind of draw these in and I'll figure it out later. Now this is going to be kind of challenging, I think, because like, you've also got, I think this is about middle. Oh, I can just measure it. So about middle would be like one, I don't know, maybe at the two inch mark. You can see I'm being really precise about this. I think that's, that's right. So like here would be kind of like a straight line. So the uh, turrets have some bands on them. So I want to, just to kind of like capture the spirit of the chest, I want to make sure that those bands are in it. So I don't know, because like the people were nuts in this treasure hunt. So like people thought all kinds of different things meant something, right? So like maybe for all I know, somebody counted the number of bands on these turrets and that's important to them. So. I'm not here to judge you crazy weirdos. Um, so I want to make sure that I have the right amount of bands on these turrets because that might mean something to somebody. Anyway, I'm just kind of sketching it out anyway. So like I can always change things later. So I kind of want the curve to be on these top ones, but I want that curve to kind of diminish as it goes down. So here, here, and then I think there'd be, I'd be the middle one, and then there'd be two more. I'm gonna put that more like that. Anyway, I'm being pretty imprecise with these lines, but that's okay. I'll, I'll go back and, so actually, I think the perspective would have that be kind of curved like that. Yeah, totally curved that wrong here. Let me go ahead and erase this. Start over. Yeah, I like doing these live streams because you guys get to see my process, which is, <laughs> I screw up a lot. That's okay, though. You guys are right here with me, and I appreciate it. How's everybody's week going so far? I, I guess it's hump day. Now, the actual entrance to the castle, in the original illustration, it's kind of covered up um, by these two figures that are climbing a ladder. So at some point, I've got to put people climbing ladders in this somehow. I'm going to have to worry, worry about that later after the picture becomes more developed. But... Um, they obscure the entrance to the castle. So I'm not really sure what it kind of looks like. There's some stones behind them, but it's very unclear. So I have to kind of be creative here and decide what I think would make a good castle entrance and how high I want it to be and all that jazz. Um, which, you know, Different castles are shaped different ways. It could be just a big solid stone slab of a door. It could be like a wooden door. It could be, you know, a drawbridge over my, oh, hell no. I'm gonna put in a moat. Sorry, <laughs> like I'm gonna change some things up here. I'm gonna put the castle, because it's not in the original illustration. I can do whatever I want. Um, this castle's gonna have a moat, so Somehow I've got to draw a drawbridge, I guess. And that's going to be... So if I'm drawing a drawbridge, it wouldn't have a solid oak door. For... They're sieging the castle, but I... So the drawbridge shouldn't be down, but I'm going to make it down anyway. Which is not how it would be in the real world. If, if they were under siege, the drawbridge would be up. But in my world... May, I don't know, maybe they like broke the chains or something and that's why the drawbridge is down. But okay, so like if it's if it's a drawbridge, then behind the drawbridge would have to be like like a gate instead of a door. Yeah, I like these ideas. Practice creativity, right? 
as you're like i had no no plan for this except the loose thing where i'd have like the castle here and then something off in the background um but as i'm drawing the castle you know i'm starting to develop these other ideas so the road to the castle would be like here and that wouldn't be like straight lines so i'm kind of just drawing it rough and then there would be a drawbridge coming down there would be there would have to be chains coming down as well so like as i'm drawing i'm i'm realizing the mechanics of it so if you have a drawbridge you have to have something that lowers it down so i'm gonna have chains i guess doing that and then i should probably draw in some um some like wood slats or something just to remind myself that this is a drawbridge okay all right so that's cool um now up here again there's going to be um I don't know, maybe you guys can make some suggestions. If you guys make some suggestions as we go along, that, that'd be cool. But up here, there's some architecture. There's like kind of like a, a keep or a church or something like that that has kind of like rounded windows or rounded top windows. So to me, it makes sense. This needs to come down a lot further, I think. I would put this at here and then the, the teethy part would be here. Yeah, let me change some of this up. I don't even know what the medieval architecture. Um, so I want to lower these chains a little bit as well so if that's the top i can put in an arch here and that would kind of make sense i think yeah because there's going to be like some arches in the architecture that's above it so this makes sense cool so yeah like kind of like an arched entrance this is starting to look like Castle Grey School. <laughs> I think that's probably my subconscious coming through. <laughs> All right, so we're going to pivot and not do the chest. We're going to do Castle Grey School, and we're going to have He Man in here somewhere fighting Skeletor. All right, so if that's that, then these castle walls are actually too high, but that's okay. I thought that they were kind of like weird anyway. So I would want. Castle walls more like this, which is cool because that matches this angle down here a little bit better. No, that's too low. Not from that. It would be, no, that's fine. Okay, so I'll go with that. And then I think the toothy part would be up here. All right, so is that, that wall makes more sense than this wall. All right, cool. I try to chest, right? Optimus Prime up here <laughs> attacking Castle Great Skull. <laughs> hey, you know, like, if you had toys in the 80s, it did get a little weird with them. Um, I think my brother had, one of my brothers had um, Transformers, and then, you know, I had G.I. Joe's. And then somebody else in, in the family, I think, had, um, yeah, I think one of my brothers had uh, He-Man. So, you know, there was a lot of these type of mashups, I think, where people's toys would end up um, at a way wrong angle. Have that be more like that. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, the people's toys, there was a lot of mashups there where... Um, yeah, G.I. Joe is fighting Transformers, and 
Transformers fighting He-Man characters and all that stuff. That is that is probably the norm in most people's households. I know it's right in my household. I found a Optimus Prime at a, at a thrift store recently for only like a hundred bucks, and um, talked talked some guy into uh, buying it, and uh, he turned around and resold it for like five hundred bucks. That's how much toys are worth nowadays. Optimus Prime goes for like 500 bucks. It's in pretty good condition too. I think it was like at a thrift store, maybe uh, maybe like a Goodwill or something like that. I don't think they realized what they had. Um, they probably thought it was like a reproduction Optimus Prime. Um, but no, it was it was a uh, it was an original. And that that thing ended up going on eBay for like 500 bucks. Which is awesome. I should have kept it, but I mean, I didn't sell it myself. My uh, this guy I knew ended up selling it. So anyway, I don't think this is perfect, but it's not inked yet, so it doesn't matter. But anyway, kind of a castle entrance, and then this side over here, off screen. I was wanting to put in some trees, but then I started thinking about that, and then. You know, you can't really have trees up against the castle because then people could use those instead of ladders to kind of like climb over the top. So I can't put trees in here. But I feel like I can put in some shrubs. And that's not going to like compromise the defenses of this castle. So I don't know what these shrubs are going to look like. I'm just kind of scribbling in where I think there might be some. And... To be honest with you, I have no idea what a moat looks like. Hold on. All right, so I guess I guess I gotta think this or all right, so this comes over. How are you supposed to have you're an idiot, Jeremy? How are you supposed to how are you supposed to have this castle perched on like a cliff? It's it's kind of it's basically becoming a little surreal here because I want to have a moat, but then I also want the castle to be up on like some sort of like rock or something and gravity would have all this water just kind of like float off you know how would how would that work there'd have to be like a waterfall over here oh that's cool yeah there'd have to be like a waterfall that's gonna totally be a weird composition though um it it was it was a number of years ago. I think it was a Goodwill, but I'm not really sure because we have a number of thrift stores around here, and I like to go in there looking for, um, you know, cheap art that maybe I can repurpose. Um, like, I have a whole bunch of different, like, random things that I picked up. I store them in the basement where I'm like, oh, this nice wooded scene. I can put in, in like, a, a duck hunt character and repurpose that art. Anyway, I think it was a good one. I'm going to have to figure out this moat thing later, but anyway, this would be like a crash gate. Which again becomes a little weird because if these people are climbing ladders, why aren't they just climbing the crash gate? But I don't know. It doesn't have to make sense. The treasure hunt didn't always make sense, so why should this castle make a ton of sense? I can just put it on a hillside. And then you can have a... I don't know how to do a stream. <laughs> I'm doing a stream. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to do a water feature. I'm going to come back to that. All right. Just ignore that for right now. Drawbridge over a rock chasm. Thank you. Thank you, Just Dave. I wasn't thinking, I wasn't thinking Tolkien. So you can have a rock chasm. That's perfect. Thank you. I appreciate that. There's no water in this, um, and this, you just have kind of a cliff. And then, oh, I love that. See, this is why you guys are completely indispensable. 
because now instead of just shrubs, I can do some really cool rock features through here to kind of like help with the composition. I love that idea. Thank you. Thank you so much. So you've got, I guess, the chasm. Let me kind of, so that the castle doesn't fall off. I'll put that there. And then, you know, when I go to color it in, there will be rocks and shit all through here. I love that idea. That's perfect. All right, cool. Because I do want this castle to kind of be up on a rock so that you can see some distance stuff back here. I don't know if I'm going to get to it, but I kind of want there to be a pirate ship in a, in a sea back here or something like that. So obviously I'm, I'm probably going to change up some of this cliff here, but I kind of want... It's, it's somehow I need to have people trying to scale the wall back over on this end. This is so much fun because it's completely conceptual. I kind of want people to be scaling the wall over on this side as well. Like tiny little people trying to crawl up ladders. But I'll worry about that later. I'll come back to that. And I do want to kind of... So there's also a... Um, um, <laughs> you put that in Discord instead. I'm not. I'm. I don't monitor Discord while I'm uh, doing these streams, just because I don't trust my computer to handle the processing speed of uh, Discord and also the stream. So I don't really pay attention to uh, what's going on in there. I probably should use that as kind of like a, another little chat feature. Um, I'm also. I, I'm also thinking. I'm going to put. So one of the items that was in. Um, the treasure chest was this really ornate gold um, bracelet that had some jewels on it and stuff like that. It was in the shape of a dragon. So if we're doing a castle, I should probably incorporate a dragon in here somewhere. So I'm going to try and work that in at some point. Again, I'll probably finish this up on Friday. So I, I feel like there's a lot of room for making adjustments as we go along. This is just the preliminary sketch, almost like a thumbnail. But I, I'm liking how that works. So, like, you have this castle. It's pretty solid structure. It's on a cliff. I guess Just Dave would know all about castles because he lives in jolly old England. They have castles there. We don't have castles in... Well, we have a fake castle here in um, Lexington, Kentucky. I don't think it's real. There's a turret on a horse farm out here that I think was actually brought over brick by dirt from Ireland. But we also have this kind of like fake castle and I'm not sure that is actually real. Maybe it is. I don't know. I'll look into it. So, you know, in true Bob Roth style, we'll put some happy little rocks here in the foreground or something. And uh, kind of break up this little path so that it's not just like straight forward. I'm really liking how this is turning out. That was a brilliant idea to make it a chasm. Because otherwise you'd have like water coming through here and it'd just be kind of flowing. Out. Actually, that would kind of look cool. Water kind of flowing off here. But I don't know how to do that. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to try. Put in just so that I remember that these things exist. Gotta put in some teeth. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So I wish, I wish the uh, chest had like little windows in these uh, turrets, but I kind of want it to be somewhat accurate to the picture. All right, moving along. There are some neat little vine features and stuff, so like maybe I'll have, I'm not really sure how to draw that, but let me put that in just to kind of represent vines. Yeah, I think that's cool because I want to, I want to capture as many elements from that chest as I can. I don't know what vines look like. I guess there'd be leaves on them and stuff. You guys can't barely even see that. 
but yeah, I, I want to capture as many elements from the original illustration, even if it's not like the original illustration. I want it to kind of be inspired by it. I used to draw castles a lot, um, not castles, but like towers and stuff a lot when I was a kid. Um, there was a, a story, I don't even remember the details of the story, but I remember that the story involved a crumbling tower um, and I wanted to draw that. So like, I did get in the habit of drawing castles and towers and turrets and crap like that when I was a kid. Kind of funny i'm a, I'm a grown-ass adult i've been doing portraits and stuff a lot lately but i'm still wanting to draw the stuff i drew when i was a kid so i don't know how much of this you'll see and how much of it will be like rocks and stuff but i kind of just want to sketch in that it's not completely solid Again, not set in stone. Where should I put my dragon? I think there will be like another turret back here, but since it's not part of the original chest, I kind of want to like have that be more subdued. Just kind of want to put it in there. For... So I guess this is more like um, almost like a hexagon type castle. This is a pretty cool castle. I would totally live in this castle. Oh, you have a favorite castle? Um, Bamberg? I'm going to have to look that up later. I, I'm not familiar with that. Probably the castle I'm most familiar with. I, I used to try drawing it a lot. Is that one um, that inspired the Disney castle? I, I think that's in Germany. I don't know how to pronounce the name of the town. Or guess it whether or not I have it right or whatever. But yeah, I that's that's the one I'm most familiar with. All right, so how do I draw this kind of everything in this picture is two dimensional for the most part. So it's kind of hard to interpret it into a three dimensional space. Yeah, this is gonna be awesome because I'm gonna I've got plenty of space back here to draw in some details and stuff that are like in, in the far distance background. So I think I think when I put in the dragon, he'll just be kind of back here and stuff. I don't want him to be like a main feature of the castle because he's not because what what I'm trying to do is copy the the motif that's on the chest and he's not part of that so I will um I think I'm gonna make this a little bit off center just so that I can put some perspective in it and obviously the keep's not gonna be this big I'm gonna call it a church because it looks like a church to me I know it's probably the keep of the castle but I'm gonna call it a church so I don't know if it would be that far up. Maybe that would be the top of it. Oh, this is tough because theirs is not. Maybe the keep is on top of another structure that's not in this. Um, I'm going to have, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to add to the architecture here and build kind of, because who's to say, right? Who's to say? I'm going to put a box in back here. And then on top of that box is where I'm going to put this church-ish thing. It was either draw this or draw Hogwarts. <laughs> I'm happy with my decision. I, I think that this is because uh, a lot of the people who do watch my uh, my streams are force fin um, people. So like you know, 
Give the people what they want. So this would be kind of no. I'm gonna I'm gonna change that. Sorry. Change that up a little bit because I kind of want that's bringing it more this way, and that's not what I want. I want it to kind of go out that way. So I want. Another structure. I'm just going to kind of freehand this. It's got kind of a pitched roof there. And it comes down. You can tell what I'm thinking because I get really super quiet. Isn't it? Yeah. It's almost like a little house on top. That's cool. What's a, what's a Zagorat? I don't know what that is. Yeah, so the two ladies are going to be up here, but it's not going to be like a perfect representation of what you see on the chest. I am going to use some artistic license. Like, for example, they are very large in the original chest. So I think they'll be smaller, but they'll be up here. Here, I'll just, I'll just put these little circles up here. So you have some ladies up there, all right, but they're going to be smaller. Okay, this is, this is more accurate, all right? Whoever designed this in the Renaissance period, they're amateurs, all right? I don't care if it was Leonardo da Vinci himself. He screwed up on the perspective. Um, so, yeah. Uh, no, I'm not going to draw Biden falling downstairs or falling upstairs or anything like that. I think I did see that video. Uh, there was some debate about whether or not that actually was Biden or if it was somebody else. I'm not, I'm not going to draw that. Let's see. Oh, and, and I have no idea what a Zagorad is. I'm going to have to look that up. Oh, a temple structure from Mesopotamia. Potamia, sorry. Um, probably not something that would fit into this motif, but maybe I'll draw that some other time uh, in something totally different. I I am a big fan of um, Middle Eastern art. Uh, so, I mean, as a challenge, I'm not above trying that. Uh, or Egyptian art. Um, I used to be a huge fan of that. I've got some pieces around my house that are Egyptian. So I uh, I would like to actually take that on. Not in this piece, but... Yeah, so, okay, so you got the structure. Um, these, I definitely want to get this in here because this is from the original. You have these kind of like diagonal lines making that roof. So I want to make sure that that's copied over. You have the arches of that building. You have these little stepping stone um, facade or whatever you want to call that. So I want to copy all that over. And then once I got those basic elemental features, then I can kind of like play around with it and be creative. So like, for example, this is a keep. So I want to put those teeth in. So it's a church on top of a keep. That's what I'm going to go with. All right. So this is the main keep. This is where everybody hides out when the castle's under siege. And then up here on top is a church. That's what I'm going to go with. So in this keep, you would have some windows, you know, so people can shoot arrows out and stuff. I don't know, whatever people do when they're defending a castle. Oh, there's a, what the hell is that? So there's some chimney features up here. So 
I should have um, kept the picture up so that you guys could follow along, like over in this space or something. Maybe I'll do that on Friday. So I don't know what would be on this wall. Again, there's a lady kind of covering that up, so I kind of have to use some imagination there. But I like this. I, I've got a castle. You've got to keep back here in the distance. I think I'm going to put in... Um, instead of this wall being flat... I'm going to put in like another little turret. And then maybe this turret has like a... Yeah, I'm going to extend that up actually. Um, so when, when building castles, I think it's important to, um, really put in like a lot of levels to it. Right. So like, you know, you got the foreground, um, you've got things going on in the background, this little church up here. And who's to say there's not like another little tower. here with kind of a now we're now we're starting to look like the disney castle you guys can't even see that but here let me draw the line a little bit darker yeah so now we're starting to look a little bit more disney which is not my intent but and then instead of this window being here i think it'd be kind of cool to give people a way to get up there so instead of doing that let's draw in some stairs you know it's imaginary architecture right so like these things this castle does not actually exist in the real world so you have to kind of plan out well you know actually that's pretty steep right so i want them walking up those kind of stairs but Anyway, so you have to picture, like, well, how do they get up there, right? So, like, I want them to be able to go up these stairs. And then maybe here, there would be a little platform for old people to take a break as they're climbing up these, like, Forrest Finn himself. So, Forrest Finn takes a little break on this platform. And then he continues walking up the stairs to go to church on Sundays or whenever. <laughs> I don't know. I'm making up shit. <laughs> so now you can see that, like, now there's a little more structure to it, right? Kind of fun. Like playing with Legos. So now we've got, like, this entire ca castle complex going on. Um, I don't know what I would have back. Here. Okay, so I'm going to have some trees inside the castle, I think. I don't know, just because I want some trees. They can't go outside the castle because people would use them to climb. That's no good. But since I don't have any kind of like landscape elements in mind over here. Uh, no, coffee. Yeah, it's just coffee. Can't even see it. Yep, just drinking my coffee. So I don't have any like landscape elements going on on this side. Here, I want to kind of have that scene that I was talking about. But over here, I don't. So I just kind of want to put in some neat little, I don't know, whatever kind of trees. We'll figure that out later, right? Doesn't matter. All right, so what else we got going on in this picture? Let me take a moment and assess. Honestly, this would be a cool place to put the dragon. But I don't have a reference picture of the dragon, so I'll may maybe have to draw that in later. I don't have a reference picture with me on my screen. So I don't want to kind of just kind of guess what that dragon looked like. I will put some windows in this turret. And then the thing about drawing windows 
in um, in towers is you imagine that somebody's going up like a spiral staircase, right? So you would stagger those windows. So like one would be here and then another would be over here. And then that kind of gives, even though you can't see it because you don't have x-ray vision, that kind of gives you the impression that there's, uh, uh, you know, spiral staircases in there or something. So this would be kind of like that. So there are going to be women up here. They look like shrubs right now, but I'll worry about that later. And then at some point I've got to draw figures climbing up the ladders. I'm going to have to, at least on this side, I don't know how they're supposed to just kind of pencil in a ladder here. And then, true to form, there has to be two of them. So theoretically, there would be like an army trying to get across here. So let's give them, you know, a little bit of a walkway. And then on this side, I don't think it's necessary to have to, well, I don't know. I got to sell the idea. So let's put in two ladders on this side. One kind of off screen. And then I'll, I'll worry about how the people look on that later on. So I'm kind of liking this. This is pretty cool. So we've got, I think there would be more wall. I mean, not wall, but more rock coming up behind the castle. Cool. Um, and then, you know, up here or something, there'd be more rock. And then, yeah. To kind of fill in some of this stuff. So, I mean, again, the original picture is not very descriptive on what's going on in the background and stuff like that. So I can literally do whatever I want up here. I could put in more castle, for example, if I want to have that castle going up the wall like Gondor or something. But I'm not going to. I do want some sky in here. So I'm going to leave that for now. Where, uh, you know, kind of figure out some of these things later. I do need... Okay, we don't actually have... two ladders. Let me get rid of that one. We have one ladder in the front, and then another ladder more like here. I don't know why they would be trying to crawl up that. Let's just kind of put that in. And then on this side, this ladder be kind of here, and then there would be one in the back. Wait, how many ladders are there? One, two, three, four, five. Again, these things matter to some people. People who's counting ladders or something as part of their solution to the treasure hunt. I want to make sure that all of their things are represented. Because they are crazy people. I say that with love, guys. <laughs> you know you're crazy people. And then there'd be like the ladder here. I mean, across, I think that that's important. That's definitely a visual piece from um, the original chest. We can worry about how that ladder actually works in physics later. <laughs> I feel like this ladder, somebody's going to be falling off the side. Is that a person? Yeah. So there's like a person up here behind yeah so I guess there would be another looking at this there would be another tower back here and there'd be like a person up there maybe that person would just be implied I don't know 
So what does this background look like? Let's see. I don't want, I don't know, maybe there's like a little town back here. We got, I don't know, some water. Maybe there's a mountain. And then this is like a little bay or something. How are we doing on time? Actually, we're doing great on time. It hasn't even been an hour. Cool. So I think that's cool. Just bring it up to this two-thirds line. Get my reference art back up. I keep forgetting to uh, put this on not go to sleep. All right, and then in this, I kind of want a ship, I think, back here. So let me just kind of pencil that in. With like, a, basically a pirate ship. Figure that out. Your straight jacket? I don't know what your straight jacket is, Mama Q. I think you lost it with your marbles. <laughs> oh, so funny. Yeah, you'll find it with your marbles. That's kind of a lame joke, isn't it? Do people still say that? Lost, lost your marbles? It might be a dad joke. All right, and then maybe some trees down here. All right, now somewhere I got to put in the dragon. So I'm not going to actually do the dragon right now. I just kind of want to know where I'm going to put him. So I think I'm done with that line. So let me erase that. Kind of erase that. Don't need this no more. Got that figured out. I want this to kind of jet all the way across so that you just get the impression like you're coming in from this side or something like that. Like literally you're coming in and then going up to the castle like that um somebody asked about a moat earlier we, we ended up uh deciding that this is a cliff and that there would be no actual water in a moat i don't know I'm trying to think is this too busy like is there too much going on here i might actually reduce some of this stuff because I feel like that's too busy and that kind of takes away from the church. I want some actual sky up there. Oh, we'll sort that out later. Okay, so I do want some people in here. And I want the people, unlike the original picture, to be right sized people. So I think this this would basically be a right size person. And then this would be the size of a person over here on this wall. And then this dude would be like super small. If a person is over here climbing the castle, it'd be about yay big. Like these are much smaller people than what's in the original, but I want to make sure that all the people are represented. So there is some castle back here behind, now that I see it. How would I do that? Because there's a lady up here. But she'd be like super small. Because she's like way back, this is like a little tiny lady up here. <laughs> what are this a castle for ants hey american comics company we're drawing a castle today and it's a lot of fun uh this is based on like uh, a renaissance piece that is nothing like this um but we're trying to uh we're trying to do an interpretation. Maybe at the end I'll show show what it's inspired by. Well, actually, I'll just go ahead and show it now. 
So we're trying to take this um, chest top and uh, make it into like a full landscape scene. I'm just being creative. And uh, to be honest, I'm not going to be able to finish this today. I'm just kind of like sketching it out so that I can figure out where I want to uh, put things like because I'm going to come back and I'm going to ink this and so on as well. So actually, I did decide to erase this, so that's not a thing. Or is it? Yeah, that is a thing. Okay. No, this one is a thing. There'd be a person scaling this, but I think they'd be further up. Let me get rid of that one. And then this one here would be a person there. So there are people climbing these walls. I am going to put a dragon somewhere around here. But I don't know what that dragon's going to look like yet. I want the dragon to kind of be circular. So... I think that's a decent composition. Um, I don't, I don't know about that dragon, to be honest. Let me erase that guy. That's the one I'm not too happy with. I'll put in the dragon later. I'm not worried about it right now. So I think. I think I'm pretty happy with how everything is. Um, took us an hour to get to this point. I think that's that might be a good stopping point, or I may go ahead and try to start inking this. Or I may just do that off camera. I think this is a good start. I'm going to go ahead and call it done and then figure out where I want to put or done for now figure out where I want to put the dragon in and I think I'll uh, sort out what these people end up looking like and then we'll have a fresh piece come Friday when when we do a live stream then and uh, go ahead and ink this bad boy in and you know maybe use some watercolor to add some color to it I think it'll be cool all right so again um, working off this general uh, Renaissance piece of art trying to make a full medieval scene out of it. Um, got it kind of penciled in. And uh, this is a good stopping point. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, <laughs> thanks, Mama Q. Uh, we're going to go ahead and um, finish this up on Friday. All right? So, again, thank you guys for stopping by. I know that this one's kind of short, but that's okay because I just really wanted to get the layout done. Um, hopefully you guys can come in Friday and uh, see the finished work when we ink it in and add some color. All right? So I'm going to go ahead and stop the stream and uh, see you guys on Friday. Hope you guys have a good one. Hey, Ernest Parnell, that's my dad in there. <laughs> he, he stopped by. Um he was actually a uh, forest fin treasure hunter as well. Um, he went out with me to uh, New Mexico, so we had a lot of bla a lot of fun out there. All right, I'll see you guys on Friday. Have a good one. See ya.